But they were saying that my arms look weird when I move it around. That's what they said. We should at least try it, right? Okay, Miles, this is for you. Straight enough? Okay. What's going on, guys? Kelvin here, and welcome to 320 Tech. Okay, I'm not feeling this. Roll the intro. You got What's going on guys? Kelvin here and welcome to 320 Tech. You know, I love my custom watch faces that Quicology allows me to have on my Apple Watch. It breaks the boundaries of what Apple allows and it gives me the flexibility and freedom to do whatever I want with my Apple Watch. But have you guys ever had your watch return to the stock watch face? You know, I'd be out having a great time, chilling out, you know, doing my own thing. Then I'd raise my Apple Watch to see what time it is. And then I'd see this. I am so done with seeing these stock watch faces. I'm sick of this happening. I know you guys are as well. So in today's video, I wanna show you guys how to make sure Clocology is running all the time. But before we get into that, make sure you guys stay till the very end because there's a brand new feature that I wanna show to all of you guys that will ensure that Clocology is running at all times. But wait till the very end, otherwise you guys will have no idea how to use this feature. Cool? All right, let's go. Okay, so. There are three main steps that every single one of you guys need to take in order to make sure Clocology is running at all times. Okay, step number one is make sure Watch OS 7 isn't closing Clocology by itself. So let's start off by going into the Watch app, then pressing General, scroll down until you see Wake Screen, and then press Wake Screen. If you see over here, it says Return to Clock. You wanna press After Crown Press. That was so easy. By doing this, the Apple Watch will only leave Clocology if you press on the digital crown or the power button. Step number two, don't palm your Apple Watch. What's palming? Let me show you guys. Some people enjoy the reassurance of knowing the Apple Watch screen is off. So what's the best way of doing this? By palming it. Seems fine, right? Wrong, 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 wrong. Nine, 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 nine. If you're using Clocology, do not palm your Apple Watch. Palming results in your Apple Watch returning to its stock face and as a result, exits Clocology. So stop palming your Apple Watch. If you want the screen to turn off, just put your wrist down. It's so easy. All right, step number three, don't take off your Apple Watch. Due to the wrist detection feature, if you take off your Apple Watch, it will lock your watch as well as closing any app that was in use. Quacology is an app, so by taking the Apple Watch off your wrist, you're essentially closing Quacology. So how do you fix this? Don't take off your Apple Watch. Simple. Uh, Calvin, can you give me a foot bath? My feet are so fungly right now. Oh, oh, Grandma Kelly, oh, another foot bath? Just let me take off my Apple Watch quickly for one second, okay? Oh, oh, just leave your watch out. This will only take five minutes, okay? It'll only take one second. Just give me one second, please. I said, leave your watch on. Leave your watch on. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No. One hour later. <laughs> I'm feeling much better now. I just had a really hot shower, burned everything off, especially all the fungi. Thank God for that. Anyways, onto the final feature. Let's get into it. Clocology version 1.2.8 released a brand new feature called Staying Alive. Now, Staying Alive is not what you guys think it is. I 
I should really get a lock for my door. Staying alive is a brand new feature from the Clickology app. And basically what it does is reopen the app every single time you guys raise your wrist. The developer of Clickology, Mike Hill, has been working tirelessly to try and fix the issue of the app closing itself over a period of time. Clickology app version 1.2.8 requires watchOS 7 and it aims to fix all the crushing issues that you guys are experiencing. To enable this feature, open up the Clickology app on your Apple Watch, long hold on the screen and press staying alive. Every single feature that I mentioned in the beginning of this video is aimed towards people that do not want to use the stay alive feature. However, I personally recommend every single one of you guys to use it because it aims to make your Apple Watch experience as seamless and close to the stock software as possible. The developers have and will continue to improve on any bugs or battery drain that you guys may experience. And I can assure you guys that they are doing everything they can to optimize the stay alive feature so that it runs as smoothly as possible. In case you guys were wondering, the dev team behind Clickology aimed to get more extensive and convenient features added in the future, but here's a bunch of improvements that Stay Alive gives you. Clickology will continue running all day in the forefront of your watch without the need for the old crown press option. Sync will no longer require you to lift your wrist. You can freely sync your clocks without looking at your wrist. The clocks will simply appear on your watch automatically after tapping the sync button. The stay alive feature is optimized for use with the always on setting turned off. Unlike previous versions of Clickology, the stay alive feature allows you to palm your watch while still having the app running. If you're on the stock Apple Watch face, tap on the circular icon with the arrow inside on the top center of your screen to return to Clickology. Battery life with the stay alive feature was great. I lost about 3% per hour with my own personal use on my Apple Watch Series 5 and I believe the features that it gives you makes it worth it. Currently, there's a bug that exists that may cause some users to experience battery drain when they use certain watch faces that include videos or particles. I've been told that Clockology version 1.3.0 aims to fix this issue. One of the best things about the Stay Alive feature is that you guys won't need to pay a single cent as it's not a part of Clickology Plus. This means that all of you guys who are financially struggling because of coronavirus can have the most smoothest and reliable experience that Clickology has to offer. Make sure all of you guys install app version 1.2.8 to try the Staying Alive feature. Test it out, try all the brand new features, and let me know in the comments if staying alive fixes your problems. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys wanna see some more Clickology content in the future. Anyways, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time.